Hello friends, Namaskar. As you all know that government of India is taking all possible steps to ensure that the new tax regime gains public confidence and it becomes more and more popular in the days to come, in the years to come. And in this regard, in this budget 2023, while this was finally passed by Lok Sabha on last 24th of March, Honorable Finance Minister has given one more additional leave or proposed one more additional leave for those assessees who wish to offer new tax regime effective financial year 23-20. So what this addition relief is, how it can be correlated in your case, this is the discussion which through this video I am trying to put up before you. So my dear friends, to put up this point before you, I am trying to take this aspect in two scenarios, before and after. Before means how this new Slab, re slab regime and its changes were done initially in the budget 2023 and while the budget finally passed in Lok Sabha on 24th of March what has finally been given as an additional rate. But before that I must remind you that this budget 2023 has proposed changes in the new tax regime or new tax slab rate saying that with a total income between 0 to 3 lakh, tax liability shall be nil. Between 3 to 6 lakh, tax liability shall be 5%. 6 to 9 lakh, tax liability shall be 10%. 9 lakh to 12 lakh, tax liability shall be 15%. Beyond 12 lakh to 15%, tax liability shall be 20%. And beyond 15 lakh, tax liability shall be 30%. Now, let's come to this example with this tax structure in the mind that okay let's assume a person is having salary income of 7.5 lakh for financial year 23-24 because assessment year is 24-25. Standard deduction will be further allowable in the new tax regime now onwards that is effective financial year 23-24. Finally final salary income is say 7 lakh saving bank interest say 10,000. So what is the gross total income 7 lakh 10,000. Now further deductions under chapter 6a are nil and total income therefore becomes 7 lakh 10,000. Now if you see what is the total tax liability then I may say between 0 to 3 lakh tax liability nil, 3 lakh to 6 lakh it will be at the rate 5% 15,000. Between 6 lakh to 7 lakh 10,000, 1 lakh 10,000 at the rate 10% becomes 11,000. So 15 plus 11 total becomes 26,000. And additional 4% health and education says, so this becomes 1040, final tax liability of this person would be 27,040. Now what the sin of this person is, that he has earned just 10,000 rupees extra over 7 lakh total income, but he will be paying tax liability additional 27,040. In such kind of cases, usually there is a concept of marginal relief, which is allowable in the case of applicability of surcharge. And it was not available in case of rebate under section 87A kind of cases. So to make this new tax regime more lucrative, government has now said in this after scenario on 24th of March that okay, if you are ready to forego your additional income of 10,000, then we will not levy 27,040 and we will give you therefore a relief of 17,040. So this is called additional relief, which is a marginal relief available to the assessees whose final tax liability is higher than, please listen to me once again, whose final tax liability is higher than the additional income above 7 lakh. So this also answers your question that who will be available, who will be eligible to claim this relief? Those cases where the final tax liability is higher than the additional income, the relief will be granted because the government will say, okay, you surrender your additional income as tax liability and we will not then levy the additional tax liability over 7 lakh income. So this is the concept of relief which will be available to the assessees because of this budget declaration. Now let me put up three important points which are elsewhere also answered but let me specific on them. This relief will be available or allowable from which year Again, sir, I would like to repeat, it will be available financial year 23-24. Hence, assessment year will be 24-25, not prior to that. So the current financial year that is, which will be ending on 31st of March 2023 or assessment year 23-24, this relief shall not be available. Will this relief also be available under the old regime? Unfortunately, answer to this question, my dear friends, is no. That government is saying this marginal relief which we are going to allow will be available only in the case of 
those who are opting for new tax regime, not to those who are also into old tax regime. So this is a discrimination, but this is how the budget has been proposed and has been passed at Lok Sabha even. Who may claim this relief? Here I would like to add that this relief, my dear friends, will be available to an individual who is resident in India. So the one who is not individual, say for an example, HF, or one who is a non-resident will not be available to claim this marginal relief concept because this relief can be claimed only by an individual who is resident in India, whether such person is a senior citizen or non-senior citizen. And my dear friends, I would again say that this kind of additional relief being promoted by the government is also to make this scheme, new tax regime, more popular amongst public at large. So one thing which is coming out of this discussion is that government is trying every single effort to ensure that the new tax regime is adopted by more and more assessees. So old tax regime probably would go after some years, but new tax regime is here to stay. That is a clear mandate, which is clear from these kind of signs even. So I hope you would have found the content of this video useful. And if you have any other queries, you can write to me regarding this. Thank you very much for being with me. Wishing you all the best. Jai.